after the sale, this will be $1 million. Good morning and welcome to you. If you are new and if you're returning, you will know this is not my typical background at all. We are visiting my husband's hometown. So this lighting is a little strange. This was the best place I could find. There's a beautiful view over here. I'll show you later if you want to see it. But I wanted to get right into recommendations. So I know many of you were disappointed last year or maybe in previous years where you don't meet the criteria for the first tier that shops first and then that kind of eliminates some of the choices I'll be talking about. So for this video, I will list my five most exciting and then if I see them going out of stock, I will definitely post in the community tab here. So watch the community tab so you can see updates on other things I'm selecting. I do have some really exciting picks here though. I don't usually get excited about sales like this because I feel like there's so much that I get really overwhelmed. I'll give you a little tip at the end as well on how to not get overwhelmed with this sale. So my very first exciting pick here is the sneaker that I have not been able to find for you for months. Yeah, months. I've been able to find it overseas, but they have it here. So if you are able to shop first, the New Balance 327 sneaker is the most, I'm going to say beautiful sneaker because it's got the loveliest lines on it. It's nice and tapered at the end. It elongates the leg. I just think it's the best dressed up sneaker without being completely leather. I think it just works with everything. Dresses, denim, shorts, leggings, you name it. And they have this color reflection white, which I love. There are a couple of other shades, but that is the one that I would pick. So if you have a chance and you've been wanting those, make sure to get them in your basket and get them. I rarely say it's a must have, but it is a must have for wardrobes. And I don't talk about them as much because I know they are not easily easily accessible. So they are on the sale. Well, I don't know about easily, but they are accessible on the sale. I just picked up the most beautiful Celine sunglasses, my first pair of Celine sunglasses. I don't know why I waited so long. So I did have to check if there were Celine sunglasses on sale and I did find these. They are the bold three dot 55 millimeter square sunglasses. So you should be able to see the sale prices here and what the price will look like after the sale. Um, but this one you have to put in your basket. So let me list below how much it really is because they don't tell you right away, but they are really nice. They look oversized, which I love in Celine glasses. They have the three dots, so nothing bold in terms of any kind of logo. You do see Celine, it's very small, very discreet. These are more straight across versus more of that, um, even though I think they were described as round or rectangular, mine go up at the ends, more like they're not cat eye, but they do give that lifting effect. These have a different effect. They are more uh, straight across. I would be interested to see how these would look on a face like mine, but I would definitely consider those if you're looking for sling glasses. Longshot Toes are one of my favorite things to travel with, and I love this one because this one has a strap that you can put on as well as the handle, which I really like, and it has expanded capacity too. So they have it in black and another color taupe, and I really like the taupe color. If you were looking for something I think that you would use over and over again, that is definitely something to be used over and over again. By the way, I stick to more classic timeless pieces and things that'll last years and years and years. And in my experience, many of these items that I've had or similar items to these are things I get in terms of cost per wear. So these are things, these will be things that last. Next up, we have something by Barefoot Dreams. I always love looking at their products. They're so cozy. This is a cozy chic light hooded cocoon cardigan. So I'm wearing a Jenny Kane cocoon cardigan. I think that's one of my favorite shapes to really make something look effortless because it's not super tailored. You've got a lot of draping to it. This one happens to have a hood on it. So if you've been here before, you know I have two of these, one for inside and one for outside. This is a perfect kind of cardigan that I would wear inside or outside, or maybe have one for inside and outside like this, because it's not quite a robe. I know they have lots of lovely robes, but you could use this as an inside sort of a robe, but it doesn't look like a robe. So it's a little bit more dressed up than that, especially if you work from home or if you spend a lot of time at home, but you still wanna be kind of put together, which is why I love this sweater because I feel a little bit put together, but I can still feel comfortable at home. Plus it's this Barefoot Dreams material, which is really soft. So if you want something more, <laughs> I love cardigans, if you can't tell. So I love a good cashmere cardigan, and this is by Vince, and Vince does lovely cashmere products. So if you're looking for a cashmere cardigan by Vince, they have some very, very neutral colors, lovely, and I love this camel shade. It's got, again, more of that flowy kind of fit to it, so I really like that, again, for just making something look really effortless. I love that shape right now. Okay, on to beauty. So, 
I love the Dyson Airwrap. I'm always going to say if you can find the Dyson Airwrap on sale, then definitely I love it. So I traveled with it. That's how much I love this Dyson, my Dyson. And I have no hairspray. Of course, the water's a little different here in the Midwest. I don't know. It seems to do better and it's softer. So I don't know. But I have no hairspray. I didn't travel with hairspray. This is just washed hair. Uh, last night I washed it and then I used the Dyson Airwrap this morning and this is how it looks. It's nice and bouncy and flowy. So yeah, I'm always going to recommend this. It does have a little bit of a learning curve, but this one, I love the Dyson. And again, on sale, even better. So your generation set by Estee Lauder. I just talked about this because it was an empty and I remembered how much I loved it. So this is the advanced night repair. It has a full size advanced night repair, synchronized multi recovery complex and three travel sizes. I love when I have travel sizes that look exactly like the regular size product. It's easier for me to locate when I pack and I'm traveling. Another exciting thing is something I have on right now. And it's the only eye makeup except for a little bit of the Victoria Beckham um, contour in marble i just have on my mascara which is the chantikai longest lash duo not the duo i only have one on but there are two in this it's a great value when you have two together and then to be on sale is even better than that so set with two of them in there and it's a savings of almost 50 dollars. i featured that many years at this point in almost every video not all, but almost every video. Then we've got the La Mer. So many of you want to try La Mer and I found this. So I think this is a really good deal for trying several of their products without going overboard. So this one includes four products from their line, the cleansing foam, the treatment lotion, the renewal oil, and then the creme de la mer. So if you always wanted to try it, great. I mean, they look really small. That's the only thing I'm gonna say, but sometimes that's all you need to really see if it's worth investing in. So before you go and buy a jar of their cream, if you always wonder, this is a nice way to try all of the steps to see how they work together too. So uh, let's see, it's one ounce cleansing foam, 0.5 ounces treatment lotion, uh, 0.17 ounces face oil and then with oils usually little goes a long way and then we've got the creme de la mer which is one ounce and then it comes with a cosmetic bag this is a fragrance i have not tried i've always wanted to try it just because the bottle is so sweet it's the delina fragrance set and it's the Parfum de Marly. So if you've always wanted to try it too, then maybe now is a good time to look, or if you love it, my husband's gonna come by in a little bit, we might see him, because <laughs> we are going to the farm shortly, um, but we'll be able to finish before that. So this is a limited edition fragrance set featuring the scent of Delina in a travel size Eau de Parfum and a dry body oil and shower gel. So you get all of those things. Now it's time for something I love to do. I love to find the most expensive product for the sale and this time after the sale this will be one million dollars which is incredible because this is a piece of jewelry usually um, but it's on sale for six hundred seventy thousand dollars which is still a lot but i always like to say point it out and i love jewelry so we're going to talk about jewelry in a moment and this is 18 karat yellow gold and let's see this diamond is a oh it's a 10.05 karat diamond it's a yellow diamond made in the USA. So I just wanted to point it out, take a look at it. It's a really modern piece. I can't remember what the last one was, but it was also beautiful. And then I noticed it was gone. So someone purchased it. So I'm going to be watching this to see if someone purchases it. Purchases it? Purchases it. That's right. I'll keep my eye on this to see if anyone purchases it. Let me know if you do. I'd love to know. Yeah, I'm really curious who the buyer would be for this, but it's stunning. I mean, it's a modern piece. I like that they did something modern. It looks effortless to wear, I'm gonna say. I think this is actually something you could wear more regularly than some other jewelry I've seen that's around that price point. I really like the modern take on this, beautiful. Okay, now on to some other jewelry picks. You know I love jewelry. So we've got something that I've seen before and I think it's such a great idea. It looks like a tennis bracelet, but it's a stretchy bangle. So you don't have to mess with the clasp and worry about it falling off. I tried it on with my jewelry here, not this exact one, but it layered really beautifully if you have something like this. This is the Audrey Stretchy Diamond Bangle. Very versatile, one of those things that I would wear every day if I had it, I think it's beautiful. Then we also have a tennis necklace. Okay, so that's another thing I've tried on for layering with these particular necklaces. Necklaces, it looks beautiful. Like I actually have my eye on something like this. I probably won't purchase this one, but I definitely love this idea. So if you are in the market for it, it's a diamond tennis 
necklace. I think it's really delicate. I do like that the diamonds are really delicate. I think that's really pretty. That's a wish list item of mine. Then we've got this Gatsby diamond ring. I love layering rings as you can see. I've got my Cartier here. I've got my Chanel. I have something that's got some baguettes on it. So I love something that has lots of sparkle and I think that these little diamonds really do that. So this is a beautiful ring to I think wear on its own or to layer. <laughs> If you're like me again i would just layer it with everything so many of you ask me about these earrings that i've had i wear them in so many videos they're 18 karat they're diamond they were ordered by my mother so these are something that are kind of like a one-off but i found something that looks similar and these are the diamond hoop earrings gatsby diamond hoop earrings i love how they have more square cut and baguettes it looks like in there beautiful i think they're a really modern take i love modern takes on traditional jewelry something like this these are more round cut let me just check these are more of a round cut and these here are more geometric more angular but i love how they just seat together really nicely and they have that uh gold band on the outside not band but you can see it's like encased in the gold beautiful the only thing that i can't see is how big they would be on the ear that is the only thing it says they are half inch hoop diameter so that sounds like it's larger than a huggy okay my foot is falling asleep hold on okay so it says color g clarity vs this is 18 karat gold and diamond so i love 18 karat gold in general it just has a really rich look to it if you want okay so here's my hint about jewelry if you want to make sure that it's not plated jewelry because they do put some plated jewelry under the fine jewelry category here i'm not sure why but if you pick the designers you like like this bonnie levy is one that i tend to be looking at a lot i would select that category and then i would sort highest to lowest because things that are not plated will be usually higher price so again pick the brands you like then sort highest price to lowest in jewelry and that'll give you a hint and then of course double check then we've got this lovely station choker this is so pretty it's a Another one by Bonnie Levy. It's really delicate diamonds. And they look round cut, but with a triangle base almost. Really pretty. And I love the station design because it keeps everything in place. And I think it's so delicate. Again, lovely for layering. These are typically everyday jewelry pieces that I'm pointing out to you because I wear this jewelry every day. I just stack my rings. I layer my necklaces. I wear hoop earrings. So cost per wear. Uh, if you are a jewelry lover, I think these are lovely picks. On to some home items. These are things that I either have or have my eye on. So this Le Creuset. We are cooking exclusively, exclusively with cast iron these days. And so I love this brand. Of course, it's beautiful. And I think I'm showing the meringue color. They do have lots of lovely colors here. So this is something that we use daily in our home, especially the Le Creuset line. It's lovely, cleans easily investment for sure these are the kinds of things that are kept forever though so i wouldn't ever buy another dutch oven that's the only one i need actually a really lovely gift as well okay so we drink a lot of tea these days and i don't love the look of a kettle sitting on our countertops we try to keep them really clean but this one looks lovely our kitchen's white and this is very minimalistic in its design it's I don't know this brand, but I love the way this looks and it looks like it has good reviews. It's a Corvo EKG electric kettle. Yeah, I just love that it's simple lines. It's white, has a little bit of like a earthy element with the wood there. It's such a pretty kettle just sit on the countertop. So that is a wish list item for me for sure. Yeah, really love it. It maintains a minimalist footprint in your kitchen. <laughs> That's exactly what I wanted. So I'm their target customer for sure. We've got this Hydro flask. I love the hydro flask. This is one of those other items that I use every day to carry, of course, water. Um, and I love this shade. So this moonlight shade is really pretty. So as you can tell, I like things that are similar in coloring to our surroundings, our home, which is mostly white. And so when there are things that are out, it doesn't look cluttered. And that is something that I really try to pay attention to because I think with all the different colors, depending on your house, for us though, it's quite minimalist, again, mostly white. So if other objects in the house are the same color, then they don't stick out as cluttery. <laughs> they don't stick out as clutter. So this one is another thing that I think is great. So depending on the color of your home or what you want, this Ugg throw blanket is perfect. Of course, I would pick the color snow, but there are, let's see, two, eight, nine shades here for you to choose from. And 
This is another thing. We have a white leather couch and all of our throws on there are white. So anytime they're even not folded, it doesn't look messy. It just kind of blends in with the background. So I love doing that. That's why I love uh, trying to coordinate the colors to be something that's complementary and nothing that contrasts too much. But again, it's a taste thing. So as you can see, there's a theme here that I've chosen with all these products, but it's great because there are lots of other colors in case you want something different. And then finally, we've got something I talk about every year. This is the Diptyque candle set. It's got four of them in there, and I love this because it's a great gift idea. And there are lots of other candle sets here, but I think these are just so beautiful, and I love the way these smell. So if you were looking at this, this one may go quickly, but I can see here, and I'm sure you can see too, how many people are looking at these items. And I tried to find things that not everyone was looking at, but there are some things that I know a lot of people are looking at. So again, keep your eye on this space in the community tab if you are subscribed. Thank you so much for subscribing. If you are not, if you do subscribe, when I do post on the community tab, I will include links of course, but you'll be able to see that more quickly. So it'll just come up on your subscription feed, but you can still get to the community tab. You just have to find the channel and then you have to go to community tab. So it's just another extra step, not impossible, but if you are subscribed, it's a little bit easier. So just check back. I'll be posting some other pics because I know it's so much to look through and it can get overwhelming. And then what can happen is impulse buying can happen. And so my tip for you for impulse buying is to make a list of what you actually need. So what do you need where it would make sense to purchase it on sale versus full price? So something you were gonna buy full price anyway. So make a list before you even look at things. And then what I like to do, although I didn't do it as much this time, but what I typically like to do is I go down the brands and I pick the brands that I know are good or brands that I want to try. And then I filter that way. So some of the brands that come to mind are Celine. I really want to see what they had in stock. Chantecai. Yeah, pick the things that you know you love and just filter that way. And then look and see what they have. See if the savings are worth it or not worth it. But definitely to just peruse the site, I think, is a way to end up impulse buying. And make sure to watch your favorite people who you rely on their recommendations because they're taking the time to look through as well and sort through for you. So that's another recommendation. Go see some of my friends. I'm sure they'll be posting. If they do, I will list their videos below as well down in the description box. Make sure to see their videos. But I'd love to know what you have your eye on. I will be shopping as well. And then, yeah, I think I'll post every time there's a new tier that can shop because that way you'll get to see what is actually available at that time because I know by the time sometimes it gets to other levels all of these picks may be gone so I'll make sure to do that for you so at least you have something I'll try and pick something from each category like fashion beauty uh, home and what was the other one I did jewelry so I'll look at those things for you and as promised I was gonna show you the view But that is it for today's video, so please take care of each other, stay well if you enjoyed this video. If you learned something, please give it a thumbs up, subscribe, and I will see you next time. This is the Audrey Stretchy Diamond, well, actually, I think every year I buy a, fin a Vince, I buy a Vince, uh, I think a cashmere, uh, wow. Well. I got a funnel neck last year, that lovely blue, love, wow. So if you are looking for a, I bought a Vince Cardi, no I didn't. Mm -hmm.